Hey guys, how are you all doing today? My name is Franchise Fanatic, and welcome back to the channel. Today, what I have for you guys is my last video of 2018. Shocking, I know. It's been a crazy year, guys. A lot of great stuff happened. A lot of pretty okay stuff happened, you know, personally, but with family members and all that. But, um, you know how it all goes. Nothing's ever perfect. But, however, I'd have to say, in terms of franchise-wise, the year was actually pretty flawless. It had a lot of great video games, a lot of great movies, a lot of great TV shows, a lot of cool, you know, everything really was a great year for me. I really have to say that um, I was blessed with an awesome year. However, what we're going to be talking about today is my, uh, kind of like my most anticipated films of 2019. So without further ado, let's get right to it, with, of course, the first one being in no order. This is just as it comes in um, from January to December. So first we have the Lego Movie 2, the second part. Now, if anyone knows me, you'll know that the Lego Movie, the Lego Batman Movie, and the Lego Ninjago Movie, screw haters, are amazing. They're my favorite films of all time. I love all three of them to death, and I can't wait for the Lego Movie 2, the second part. It's going to be fantastic. Um, I've heard that it's going to be a little bit of like a, um, a musical, which is fine because they go to the Star System. But, you know, a bunch of cool stuff. Um, you, I do have a Lego Movies um, tribute out, so if you have not seen that yet, go watch it. It's in my you know, video log somewhere. It's awesome. I uh, highly recommend you check that out. Um, the second is Alita Battle Angel. Now, this comes from the director James Cameron, who did Titanic and Avatar. Um, it looks good. The CGI for Alita, the girl, looks pretty awesome. Um, it has a very cool kind of, like, feel to it that you wouldn't really, you wouldn't really see a whole lot, you know, so it's kind of cool they've taken, like, that futuristic step that they're really making into a movie that doesn't look like crap. Um, so hopefully that should be cool. And I'm just looking at a site here because there's no way I'm going to memorize all these. Um, we have How to Train Your Dragon, The Hidden World. Now, my favorite DreamWorks film of all time is Rise of the Guardians. However, How to Train Your Dragon is a fairly decent film. I think they're way better, uh, better? Way better than Shrek and, you know, um, Over the Hedge. So, I don't know, it's, it's hard to explain, but I don't really like DreamWorks movies that much. I think they're a little kiddie and crass, but Rise of the Guardians, Puss in Boots, um, for the most part, and How to Train Your Dragon are very good films, so can't wait for The Hidden World. And, of course, March 8th, we have uh, Captain Marvel. Now, this is the first MCU movie to come out in 2019. A lot of hate's been thrown at it. I think it looks dope. I uh, can't wait. So, yeah, that's it. I can't wait. Can't see what, especially what happens with Captain Marvel's origin and Nick Fury, um, with the scrolls and all that, so everything looks great from these two trailers that we've seen so far. Um, and I can't wait for Captain Marvel. Uh, let's see here. March 29th, we got Dumbo. Now, this is, of course, uh, another movie that Disney is basically taking a classic animated film, and they're rebranding uh, re it kind of into a live-action film. Now, a lot of people are saying this isn't really necessary, and while I, while I agree it isn't necessary, I mean, they really should be coming up with new material, I think that them doing this just is really just going to, in the end, breathe new life into these classic movies so that you can get both the old and the new. April 5th, we got Shazam. Now, I loved Aquaman, and I loved every other DCEU uh, film to date. I also have a DCEU Worlds of DC tribute that uh, has a pretty good amount of views, I guess. So um, if you want to check that out, I highly recommend it as well. I love it. I think you're going to love it too. Uh, but Shazam looks pretty awesome. I can't wait for that. Um, really hope that you know it doesn't let me down. Again, I loved every DCEU movie. I don't understand the hate for any of them. Um, so hopefully that'll be... You know, good. And, of course, April 26th, Avengers Endgame. Now, this comes, of course, after Avengers Infinity War um, with uh, Decimation. Uh, if you haven't seen it yet, I don't know what you've been doing. But, uh, yeah, so Endgame looks to be the, the last final chapter in the MCU until they kind of, you know, keep going with more stuff. So it really isn't the end of anything, but maybe for a few characters. But Captain Marvel's going to play a huge role in this. I can't wait to see how this movie turns out. Um, and, of course, you know, every MCU movie has been pretty good to date, and uh, can't wait for that. Also, fun fact, I have an MCU Marvel movie tribute on the channel. It's my second video. Check it out! Uh, let's see here. May 10th, we got Pokemon Detective Pikachu. Now, I love Pokemon. It was one of my favorite franchises when I was a kid, and it still is. It's just a great all-ages thing for everyone to enjoy. Um, I had a lot of uh, cards. I don't really play the games a whole lot, but I really like the anime. I think the show is fantastic, especially in its early stages. I mean, the show is just it's nostalgic, for me, I'm 20 now, so, you know, watching is a 7, 8, 10-year-old, you know. Um, but it still holds up, and it's still a great all-ages film. So seeing it rebooted as kind of like a live-action film, I didn't think it would be good. I thought it would kind of look like crap, but I'm watching it like, all right, damn, I'll give this thing a go, you know, we'll see how it goes. Um, May 24th, Aladdin. Again, this is another classic film that they're taking from, you know, animation to uh, live-action. Haven't really seen a full trailer yet, just a little teaser, 
But um, hopefully it'll be good as, you know, Will Smith is the genie and someone I can't, I don't remember as Aladdin. Hopefully it'll be a good film. Uh, June 7th, we have Dark Phoenix, another X-Men movie from Fox. Now, I know Disney's going to be buying Fox soon, so uh, I, I really don't have many expectations for Dark Phoenix because it doesn't really matter what's happening. Um, and they're kind of just, like, revamping what happened in The Last Stand. Now, I didn't hate The Last Stand, um, and I don't love it. It's just a good movie. However, Dark Phoenix looks to be better. Hopefully, you know, we'll have to see. Looks good, though. Uh, June 21st, Toy Story 4. Now, I love Toy Story 1, 2, and 3. Um, of course, I think Cars 1, 2, and 3 are my favorite, and I will be having a Cars tribute up uh, fairly shortly on the channel whenever this goes live. Um, but, however, uh, you know, Toy Story 4, I, I'm not really sure they, they needed that. Looks alright, but, I mean, honestly, I don't know why they're doing it. Um, just keep it at 3. You know, like, don't make a Cars 4. Don't make a Toy Story 4. It's going to be fine, I'm assuming, but whatever. Uh, July 5th, we have Spider-Man Far From Home. Still no trailer for Far From Home, but should be awesome with Mysterio and all that. And I'm not really sure where this takes place. If it takes place after Infinity War or before or whatever, but looks fun. Um, and once we see a trailer, I'll be doing a review on that, too. Uh, all right, let's see here. July 19th, The Lion King. Same thing. Old movie, The Lion King. New movie, The Lion King. Should look fun. John Favreau, who did Jungle Book, is in it, so should look pretty cool. Uh, let's see here. We've got... Um, Artemis Fowl. I never read those books, but it looks pretty good. Uh, that, you know, it looks like a cool spy movie with a kid, you know, so yeah, it should be very right. Um, let's see here. Uh, Joker, October 4th. Joaquin Phoenix should look pretty awesome. I cannot wait to see what they do with that character and with that role. Um, I hope it's going to be, you know, something different. And I don't know if they're going for an R rating yet, uh, you know, whatever they do. Remember, PG-13 is still not for kids, so don't get too dismayed over that. Looks pretty damn cool. Uh, let's see here. We've got a Sonic the Hedgehog, November 8th. Now, a lot of people are garnering, garnishing some very uh, you know weird things over this film. However, I don't think it looks total shit. I mean, it doesn't look great, but we'll have to see his face. So, you know, that's all I can say about that. December 13th, uh, Untitled Jumanji sequel. I don't really like Jumanji 1. I'll have to rewatch it. It doesn't look... You know, it was okay. Um, Jumanji Welcome to the Jungle, however, was basically a modern take. So Jumanji 1 was in the, um, you know, board game era, and Jumanji Welcome to the Jungle, or Jumanji 2, is about video games, you know? So I think that was really cool that they could do something like that and get funny actors who I don't really... I mean, these actors in that movie are everywhere, you know? Karen Gillan and, um, uh, Dwayne Johnson and... What the hell is his name? Kevin Hart... You know, they're basically saturating the market right now, but they were good in this movie, so I can't wait for a sequel. And, of course, December 20th, Star Wars Episode Nine. Now, I love the prequels, I love the original trilogy, and, yeah, I love The Force Awakens, and Rogue One, and Solo, and I love The Last Jedi. It's my favorite Star Wars movie. I don't understand the hate. So, can't wait for Episode Nine, whatever it's going to be called. And, of course, we have Untitled Kingsman, which should probably be called Kingsman the Great Game. Um, there is still no date, probably November. Um... That looks pretty cool. You know, I love Kingsman, The Secret Service, and The Golden Circle, so I can't wait to see what's happening with the great game. Now, a few movies really quick that I'm a little hesitant for is um, Playmobil, the movie. Now, of course, as I said, the Lego movies, all three of them so far, are practically perfect in every way. So I can't... It, like, if you watch the Playmobil movie trailer, it just it's such a ripoff of the original Lego movie. It's unreal. Because Lego is a toy for all ages. Playmobil is not. So... <laughs> You know, it's going to be weird seeing that um, Playmobil kid thing transform into an all-ages comedy. From what I can tell, it's what they're trying to hit at. So, you know, is what it is. Um, I'm still going to watch it and review it. I have high hopes. Well, no, okay. I don't have high hopes. I have hopes. Um, April 12th, Hellboy. Uh, I haven't seen the Ron Perlman Hellboy films, but, you know, this one looks okay. Uh, you know, it definitely looks the best out of the ones I've seen so far. But I'm still a little hesitant because I don't know how you can... How that's going to work out too well. Um, uh, Frozen 2. I'm a dude. I don't really like Frozen. Now, I do like Frozen in the sense that it is a competently made movie, but it's a girl movie. And I'll argue that's wrong purple. It's for girls only. Some enjoyment for dudes, but, I mean, I'm not going to watch Frozen with my buddy, you know, or, you know, something like that. Maybe my girlfriend, but not freaking one day, but not, you know, dudes, I don't know, Frozen 2, I'll see it, I didn't really enjoy Frozen 1 that much, it was alright, but again, more for girls, so it kind of ruined that for me, 
Um, let's see here. It really is a whole lot. I mean, that, that's pretty much it from what I can tell. Um, yeah, I mean, the, the really, guys, there's, there's going to be a whole lot of good movies coming up. Um, some look good, some look terrible, some look amazing. And uh, the ones that I, of course, mentioned to you, I, you know, they look amazing to me. But, um, I mean, that's really it. I mean, I guess another one I could say is Godzilla, King of the Monsters. I never saw the original Godzilla. I mean, I have to. I, I really want to see Kong Skull Island. I saw a little bit on it for, on cable, but I didn't get. I like watching movies from start to finish, and I heard it was pretty good. I really want to watch it, so I hope I can. But um, Godzilla: King of the Monsters looks good, the trailer. And again, I'll have to watch the first Godzilla, but a little hesitant because you know I didn't see the first one yet, so we'll have to see. Um, that's really it. And of course, the New Mutants, which is another Marvel movie, that's August second. Um, we we had a trailer for the New Mutants, however, that never really happened, I guess, because. For some reason, um, I, I think it's still happening on uh, you know in theaters. I hope because it actually looks pretty darn cool for the trailer. It looks like a horror Marvel movie, which I'm all for because I've never seen a horror. I'll admit this: I've never seen a horror movie unless you count Jurassic, or um, I don't know the Emoji movie as horror. I guess that could be horror. Um, so yeah, let's see how you know New Mutants goes. And then of course my last eh movie is Angry Birds two on August sixteenth. Now, I didn't see the first Angry Birds either, so I'm going to have to see that first. But the first Angry Birds movie looked like another ripoff of the Lego movie, right? The Angry Birds movie, the Lego movie. The blank movie is, like, saturating everything, too. Um, but, you know, of course, when you, whenever you make a movie based on an app, no one wants to see it. But this one looks good. You know, the first Angry Birds movie looks good, and I'm going to have to see it. I missed out. I just didn't have time to see it, I guess, with all these movies, but... Um, Angry Birds 2, there's no news on it really ever, except August 16th, apparently. Um, and I'm getting all this information on, uh, EW.com. So, you know, all these movies that I mentioned look great, and the ones that I haven't seen any footage of, they sound great, and if not, I'll have to, you know, watch the first film. But, yeah, guys, so that is, from what I can tell, um, until any other movies get surprisingly thrown at me, those are my most anticipated films of 2019. So thank you guys very much for watching, and please leave a comment below in the comment section, what you want to see out of the list that I said. So thank you guys, and I hope you all had a fantastic 20, 2018, eh, 2018, and uh, I can't wait for an awesome 2019 filled with awesome video games, awesome movies, awesome TV shows, and awesome stuff for the channel, including tomorrow, the first day of 2019, I'm going to have a dope video for you guys. It's going to be my biggest tribute yet, so I hope you guys watch it, and I hope you all enjoy it. So subscribe if you're new, and um, yeah. I hope you guys had a great 2018, and I'm looking forward to spending 2019 with you guys. Have a good one.